Hi there, I'm Robert and you're watching Suburban Preppers. In today's video I'm going to show you how to make an emergency gravity water filter using this Miniwell L630 water filter with bucket attachment and a regular everyday bucket. So I've opened the packaging up and I've got everything out on the table in front of me. Just to be clear up front, I bought this from Amazon here in the UK. It was £23.95p. I don't know if you can get it on Amazon.com in the USA, but I do know they are available from AliExpress. Using AliExpress, I can only find out the postage rates to the UK. I can't find out to anywhere else. So, unfortunately, I don't know how much it would cost for any shipping and taxes. But the prices, when I checked on AliExpress, were £19.95p. That's in British pounds. So, they're around about £20 plus shipping plus tax on AliExpress. It'll probably work out to around the same price as what it cost me on Amazon, £23.95. So in the packaging you get your water filter itself, this is a, a cheap knockoff of the Soya Mini, it's got threaded connector on there which it would fasten onto there and you could drink it straight from the bottle if you wanted. We'll be needing that bottle later so I won't put it far, just put it underneath. You've got this, this is the important part of the project. This is the bucket connector. Just unscrew it. Take one of the, the silicon gaskets off. You get a length of silicon tubing. And you get a connector which, which locks the silicon tubing. You just thread it through and when you need to lock it, you just squeeze it shut and it nips it. That stops the water flowing through and then to release it, you just open it up again and the water can flow. We'll lock that in place for now. <coughs> Put it on the table. So opening the instruction booklet here, it tells you how to make an emergency bucket gravity water filter. You can also use it with a carrier bag to make a, a gravity filter, but I don't know how much I would trust a carrier bag full of water. So, we need one regular bucket. This is not a food grade bucket, this one here, so it might be, might be worthwhile using a food grade bucket if you're bothered, but if it's an emergency, who's gonna be that first? So it tells you here, you need to drill a 1.5 centimetre hole, you need a 15 millimetre hole drilled in. So I've already done that on this bucket just here. And you get your connector. Once you've got it threaded through the bucket, just put the second silicon seal onto it. And then you have the little nut just to tighten it up. It is only plastic so don't over tighten it. So this hole that I put in the bucket, I put it a little bit off the bottom. Obviously if you're tipping dirty water into it there's a good chance it's going to have sediment and other bits and bobs inside of it. So you just want to give those a chance to settle first of all. And then once you have the bucket like this with a connector on, Literally, you just shove the silicon tube over the end and you have your water filter bucket. From here, again, you would just shove the silicon tube over the connector and essentially we are complete. It's a good thing once you have this, although this is a clone of the Soya mini filters. I don't know how reliable they are. I've also got this one. This one's a water drop filter. It's from a slightly more reputable company. I, I don't mean that to be disrespectful to mini well. I just I don't know how much testing they've done. Whereas I know water drop obviously do a lot of vigorous testing. So the silicon tube also fits over the connector on the water drop filter. 
and then this is essentially the same as a life straw you can drink from it from there or you can use it as a gravity filter so essentially that is the emergency bucket filter complete however you can make it a little bit better if you want to continue watching i will show you that in a little few minutes but if you just want to see how to make an emergency water filter then that's it done you know it's it's literally as simple as that a hole in a bucket with a connector a silicon tube and the water filter connected onto the end to filter the water obviously gravity will take it through just remember to release the clip when you want to filter to let the water flow through it does say to let the first 200 milliliters drain through before you start collecting the water to drink also once you collect the water whether that be in an empty bottle or a secondary bucket <clears throat> i would recommend some way of sterilizing or purifying the water we've got the chlorine water purification tablets here obviously you could boil the water it's entirely up to yourself but yes just make sure that the water is safe for you to consume before you consume it so how to make this better very simply to make this water filter slightly better i would get a secondary bucket and i've marked this one dirty water only so i would personally i would use this one to scoop the water from the water source whether that is a pond river stream whatever you see if you're scooping the water from this any dirt debris and whatnot is going to be on here and it's not going to be on this bucket the next step i would do is attach a coarse pre-filter on top of the bucket so here i have a cookery apron it's just a, a cotton apron it's nothing special but i would just put it over the top just put a little indentation in the top and they get a bungee cord all the way around and then once you've scooped your water up slowly pour it through the, the apron the coarse filter so any larger bits of debris are being filtered out and then once the water has drained through just release the bungee take this off taking care not to get any of the debris in the, the water and then filter as normal whatever you do when you are filtering water whether you're using the secondary bucket or you just have one bucket you're draining it into a pop bottle or any other container just take care not to get your dirty water in with the clean water or make sure that the dirty water the untreated water doesn't have any contact with the containers that you're using for the treated water otherwise any potential contaminants may be in the clean water that you're about to drink also be mindful when you're using these filters that these cheap knockoff filters they only have the the fibers inside the ultra fine fibers although they'll get most contaminants out they will not get any chemicals any pesticides whatnot out of the water they would need to go through a activated carbon filter before they remove any pesticides which is why i prefer these water drop filters you've got the the fiber filters in here and then in the top portion it has an activated carbon as well so it's just something just to remove the extra contaminants that may be present in the water and maybe make it better for you to drink so if you've enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to leave a comment if you've got any thoughts on this video please do write it below and also if you're not already a subscriber please may i ask would you consider hitting the subscribe button below it just helps this channel grow it helps the algorithm push this video out to more viewers like yourself and myself who are interested in preparedness videos and with that, I'll say thanks for watching and bye for now.